What's up, everybody? I'm in Denver, so hopefully I can still get all the content out this week. But after that side note, holy Easter eggs with Star Wars Rebels. This is why I love the meat and potatoes of Star Wars Rebels instead of these filler episodes. Because of what this episode did today. The TIE Defender has now been canonized. So, today's episode found uh, Ezra and Kanan back on Lothal, infiltrating an Imperial factory to see what secret they were building there. And to basically gather data and let the rebels commence a strike on the Imperial factory. But to do that, they had to determine whether it was worth it to commence said strike. So they needed important data. While undercover, uh, they learn that Thrawn is there to put a halt to the rebels saboteuring the ve- the Imperial vehicles like the walkers and the speeders. Basically, all the workers get put on lockdown, and Kanan and Ezra has to have to get out of the lockdown, find the data, and escape from the Imperial factory while under the watchful eye of Thrawn. They do all that, basically, and Chopper goes and finds the data. While Chopper was getting the data, Kanan and Ezra's identities become, uh, they were dressed up as stormtroopers and their identities become compromised. And so Agent Callus basically helps them escape, letting them know that he is in fact Fulcrum. And based, if you remember my earlier video on Rebels Recap, uh, from the Antilles extraction, I correctly guessed that Callus was Fulcrum, although it wasn't too hard to figure out that he was Fulcrum. It sounded like him number one. Uh, But number two, he's obviously, after all the tips that they gave, it had to be a high-ranking Imperial officer, and who else would make sense but Agent Callus, who was rescued by Zeb, so um, he was the most likely choice to be Agent Fulcrum. So of course, everybody's shocked to figure that out. Um, Basically, uh, he helps them escape, though, and uh, Ezra and Kanan escape with the plans, and it turns out to be none other than the TIE Defender. So that is now canonized, uh, pretty much like in the Rebels universe, so that's pretty freaking cool, and Thrawn is the mastermind behind the TIE Defender. Um, that, that, so that's a little bit different. Um, uh, other than that, yeah. That was great. So let's get to the review portion of the episode. I know that was a really quick recap, but all in all, even though it was not a filler this time, it for the most part, the episode was basically that. So uh, there wasn't too much else to cover uh, on the recap end. So. so I thought this was a great episode. It wasn't a filler episode, which made it so much better because uh, you now find out Callus is a fulcrum. The TIE Defender is now uh, a thing, and it can possibly be an actual full-fledged ship sometime in the rebel season that would be cool we know the tie defender is in the galactic civil war so most likely it will be built um just hopefully it will be shown on the rebel side too uh on the on the tv show not just the makings of it but maybe they'll actually have to fight it which would be freaking awesome uh the episode is great seeing Kanan and Ezra together back in action uh just them two alone was was pretty cool too um and then just more of Thrawn uh was definitely the highlight of this episode for for me personally uh so at the end of it he figured out you know obviously someone helped the rebels because they weren't going the way that he had planned for them to escape and and obviously he was going to trap them uh but he figured out okay someone's obviously helping them uh an imperial asset so he figured and and something tells me he knows it's agent callus something he just keeps directing towards callus and thrawn is just too smart not to know it's agent callus because to be honest uh it would have to be someone high ranking like he said so uh it agent callus or governor price between the two of them you know (laughs) <laughs> it, I'm pretty sure he can figure out it's Agent Callus pretty fast. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Thrawn was definitely the highlight. He's, his strategicness came out in this episode. He kind of predicted uh, everything. He adapted his strategy uh, accordingly when he had to. Um, it was awesome, even though he ended up losing that strategy battle, but it was because of mainly Callus that he lost that. And just like he said, that uh, an Imperial... Uh, spy for the rebels could also be an asset for the empire once he's once again flipped back to the empire side that could become an asset so 
I think overall Thrawn didn't come out with a total L this time because now they're now Callus's uh, fulcrum identity is in jeopardy, and on top of that, Thrawn can use that against him to potentially learn more about the rebels, depending on what they do now that they know the identity of Callus as fulcrum. Thrawn can flip that around to learn more about the rebels, so potentially this could work out in the end for Thrawn, as as it always does with him, you know? So, uh, I definitely thought that was the highlight of the episode, was the fact that Thrawn, Thrawn was just amazing in this episode once again, and it's been so long since we've seen him for the most part. I mean, he was featured shortly on other episodes, but this was probably the most we've gotten to see Thrawn. Um, the TIE Defender, my thoughts on that being uh, canonized within the Rebels universe, and Thrawn... Thrawn being the mastermind behind the TIE Defender, is I'm 100% on board with that. I think it's awesome. Thrawn, definitely a, a battle mastermind, so it makes sense that he could create something like the TIE Defender uh, when the Imperial ships definitely have a disadvantage against the Rebels' aircraft. Um, so definitely on board with that. I really, really hope to see the TIE Defender in the... Um, in the Star Wars Rebels TV show later on. Hopefully Wedge Antilles might get some fly time against him and, and put him back in the show for a little bit. Uh, but I think that would be great. Maybe end the season with a space battle. We haven't kind of seen a huge, big, large-scale space battle in Star Wars Rebels. But uh, like I said, this was great to get back. I hope they continue with the main story because we've had enough fillers. There's been, I think, now five filler episodes in a row or so so definitely definitely had enough filler episodes we definitely need to continue on this track with thrawn get back to darth maul i don't i'm starting to think is he even going to come back for this season or was he just literally in that one episode um but great job i de definitely recommend seeing this episode above all else if you're kind of skipping out on rebels like eh, you know too many filler episodes not really getting into it i recommend definitely seeing this one or uh and watching just the main canon episodes of the season if you really just don't care at all about fillers but uh this episode was good and like i said uh just easter eggs more insight into thrawn he you see him studying the rebels and everything it's 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 pretty cool so um that's it for this rebels recap and review check out the other stuff right here on the screen we're almost at 100 subscribers guys um and remember to subscribe like and share and i'll see you guys later